Hi, I'm Richard Carter, an intern in the DeveloperWorks IT Professional Skills Team, and this is a crash course in Enterprise Java Beans 3 with Rational Application Developer for WebSphere. This nine-part demonstration will show you how to use Enterprise Java Beans to create a simple blog web application. Starting from a fresh installation of Rational Application Developer, I'll take you step by step through how to create a local WebSphere instance and how to create and write an Enterprise Java Bean. Then we'll learn how to create an Apache Derby database and how to take advantage of the Java Persistence API for database storage. Finally, I will show you how to create a web project which uses the Enterprise Java Bean you created earlier. And then we'll run the app web application and see the Java Bean in action with our final blog web application. This is Crash Course in Enterprise Java Beans 3 with Rational Application Developer for WebSphere. Part 1 of 9, Creating the Local WebSphere Server. The first thing you'll need to do is create your WebSphere Application Server instance. This is a local instance of WebSphere Application Server on your own machine, which you'll use to test your projects, such as the web application project we're creating in this demo. So open Rational Application Developer for WebSphere, on this bottom pane, click the Servers tab, and then right-click in the blank area, select New, and click Server. Now you'll want to leave the host name localhost. This is a special name for your own machine. And choose Application Server version 7.0. You can leave the name, the default, or customize it as you'd like and leave the runtime environment set to WebSphere 7.0 and then click Next. Most of these settings on this page you can leave at the defaults but you'll want to specify a username and password for your server. This keeps your server secure so that other people on the same network as you won't be able to potentially view your projects or perhaps cause more damaging things to your server. Then click Next. Now you've not created any projects yet so there are no projects to add to the server. But later on we'll create our Enterprise Java Beans project and we'll add that project to our server. For now just click Finish. This next step will take a few moments as it's initializing a new instance of the WebSphere application server on your own machine. And now you should be all set. You see in the servers pane, we now have one server, our newly created WebSphere application server, and its state is stopped. Once we create a project, we can then start the server and open our browser and browse to the server in order to view our project. Continue on to the next part where you'll learn about Enterprise Java Beans.